Hello, my name is Muhammad Ali. I am pharmacist by profession. I have nearly 40 years of experience working for pharmaceutical industry. I work for big names like Johnson & Johnson and Novartis. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to assign limit for trend analysis. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the annual product quality review. What is an annual product quality review? It is an evaluation performed at a regular interval, usually early. It is continuous quality review of pharmaceutical products. It helps to check the correctness of the current manufacturing procedures to find out is there any need for revalidation. It also helps to check the appropriateness of the current quality specifications. Here, I will explain you what is the purpose of annual product quality review. It captures trends and helps to determine the defect and possible improvement of the method and process. It also captures the trend of yield and analytical results. In this video, we will discuss trend analysis of active content result obtained from testing of the product. Main objective of this video is how to assign limit to gauge if results of the assay is out of trend, OOT or complying to the trend, matching the historical results. What is OOS and what is OOT? OOS is out of specification, a result that falls outside established acceptance criteria which have been established in official compendia and or, or by the company document like, like in SOP. Example, the specific limit for SC is 95 to 105% of the label claim. If the SC result is 94%, the result is considered as OS out of a specific. Now, what is out of trend? The test result that may be within the specification but shows significant variation from the historical data or histori historical results. Historical results are data collected over a period of time. Example, historical results show that the assay is always within 99 uh, to 101% of the label claim. If at any time we get assay results as 98%, we will consider this result as OOT or out of a trend, out of trend results. We will consider it as an out of trend result. How to assign limit for out of trend. A specification limit established limit usually comes from official compendia, while trend limit is in house limit and it is based on historical data of the results over a period of time. There is no set rule for limit of trend, it is at the discretion of the company. Company may decide. Uh, uh, as a uh, variation of plus minus one, uh, one standard deviation or plus minus two standard deviation. In my opinion, one should use plus minus two standard deviation for the signing limit for trend. Rational for adopting plus minus two standard deviation is that, that plus minus one standard, standard deviation will be too narrow. And plus minus 3 standard deviation is usually used to assign the specific limit. Hence, I prefer plus minus 2 standard deviation for trend limits. Maybe for very potent drug, one can assign plus minus 1 standard deviation for the trend limit. Now, how to collect data for trend analysis? What is the criteria to collect the data for trend analysis? Select at least 30 batches for trend analysis. All selected batches must have been produced in the same conditions. All selected batches must have been produced according to the established procedures without any deviation from the norms. Correct assay results of these uh, 30 batches. All selected batches must have been analyzed with the same analytical method. No change in testing procedures, no repetition of assay, any assay, or, or, or no repetition of any test. Now here is the assay results of 30 batches. Assay results are, are the content of uh, active in, in percentage for the 30 batches. We have selected these 30 batches for the trend analysis. Now we will feed this data 
uh, you will import this data in, into our study for the calculation purpose of the uh, limit for trend analysis upper limit and lower limit so let me open first the R study it will take little while now here is our R study now we will import our data into the R study for the calculation purpose so our data is stored here in the excel file we are just importing it now we have imported our data of 30 batches from the excel file into the R study now we will apply uh, the command to calculate the upper and lower limit stretch after dash the file first from where the data is now I will apply the command for that here is the command for that and uh, for the lower limit 2SD and for the upper limit again 2SD and and, and, and it, it, it will be added to mean or, or it, 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 it will be detected from the mean to, f to find out the lower and uh, upper limit for our trend analysis so this it, it, these are, uh, are the results of uh, as I with the help of our state we, we are just going to calculate the upper and lower limit it's, it is very simple to do that you can see that so the, the lower limit with 2SD is 97.9% uh, and, and the upper limit with 2 SD is 101.9% uh, so now we have the upper and, uh, and lower limit from our historical data result we, we have got from our study uh, <coughs> lower limit is 97.9% uh, and the upper limit is 101.9% so the, these are our lower and upper limit for the trend analysis of, uh, of uh, the, the historical data we, 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 which we have for these 30 batches so any results outside this limit will be considered as out of trend this is how we can assign the limit for, uh, for our trend analysis Thank you very much.